Hi everyone, Charlotte here. Today I'd like to show you how to create your very own library of knowledge in AnyType. If you're someone with a hobby or a particular interest, AnyType is a great way to document everything you learn and find interesting about that topic, and over time build up a knowledge base that's really your own. Today I'll use the example of a movie database, and I hope you can use it to get inspiration to create either your own movie database if you love watching movies, or some ideas for creating a knowledge hub of your own. To start off, right now I want to create a simple object about the film, a space odyssey. To do that, I'll add a new object using the plus button and select type movie from the AnyType library. You can see right away that I now have a new type installed in my space, and what I see in front of me here is actually a template that AnyType created for movies. We have a whole tutorial on templates on our channel, so I won't get into the details here, but a template is essentially just a pre-made structure that I can apply to any or all objects of the same type. I like most of this structure that any type has provided here, but there are some things I would tweak to make it fit a bit better with my own preferences. For instance, I think I can probably just remove this image block here, as instead of using the movie poster image, I would prefer to choose an iconic scene from the movie that I watch as a cover image. This Rotten Tomatoes relation isn't really useful to me, I don't trust the tomato meter score, so I'll take that away. And I think here I want to add a relation of my own, which is release year. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to use this object as a template, which means that I can reuse it for all future films. And then I'll jump out of the template and just proceed with filling in all of these descriptions and relations for the film. Now I've created this one object and this template, and I want to make sure that all of the other movies I add will follow the same structure. So here I'm jumping into my types library where I manage my movies, and you can see that I have two templates now, the one that any type installed for me and the one which I've just created. I'm going to delete the one that any type gave me because I don't need it anymore and move on to creating a set of movies. Here you see me using the plus button to create a set with type movie, and right now there's just one movie in a single row with all those relations and columns. I think since we have those nice object covers, we can use a gallery view on this set to make it more fun. From here I'll add the cover and start adding another movie using exactly the template you saw me create earlier. Each time I watch a new movie, it'll get added to this set, and over time I'll have built up my very own movie database that I find really cool and fun. I also want to show you quickly that if we jump back into this movie, A Space Odyssey, and open the object in graph view, we'll see all of the objects that it's linked to and how they fit together in the graph. A Space Odyssey is linked to several actors, as well as the director, so keep in mind that relations work not only as properties or attributes, but also connectors between objects in the graph. And that's it. Hope you enjoy building up your own knowledge base in any type. Remember that everything you create is private, available offline, and owned by you. Thanks for watching.